here. Uh, just got through updating my phone today to uh, the new iOS 7. So I'm running a iPhone 4, 32 gigabyte uh, with the new iOS 7. Uh, I have a new third generation iPad. It's the last one before the Retina and the new uh, plug adapter. I upgraded it yesterday and used it for a day and it worked very well. So this, the day I decided uh, to try to go ahead and do my iPhone 4, 32 gig. Uh, my iPad's a 64 gig. Um, it's a little faster. It's got the Siri. This is an older phone now. It's going on four years old. Came out in 2010. Um, so I wasn't sure how it would react and how it would work with the uh, new iOS 7. It worked great. Uh, everything seemed to be great. Uh, I went through applications. Uh, everything seemed to be on the up and up. But then I went to text some friends of mine and I got a really heavy lag, uh, like a five second lag. So I did some research on the web and come to find out other people were having the same issue. So uh, I actually figured out a fix. I mean, the, the lag was so bad, like you would not even, it'd drive you crazy. Like I would type and then five seconds later, my word would come out. I would like backspace and erase. Five, six seconds later, my, my, uh, texting would happen so it was uh, I was like already looking at going back to iOS 6 and uh, I did a little finagling and a little figuring out and now if you look if I type anything in let me see if I can zoom in a little bit there we go now if I type anything in you can see it's working perfect and uh, the whole thing uh, is is working great now. So uh, so I can type uh, working and it fixes it and send. So now I just text my friend Christian, my assistant. He's in Denver working uh, the floods, uh, helping uh, recovery in the floods and uh, doing flood recovery uh, with people's possessions and stuff like that. So anyway, um, it's working and so I wanted to show you what I did to get this working. So basically what I did was I went into my settings and I went into general and then from general I went all the way down to reset and then I put reset all settings and I clicked yes and resetting all these settings you're not going to lose any of your data you're not going to lose any of your pictures your videos you're not, not going to lose any of your uh, apps it's basically just going to reset like your wallpaper all your default stuff and for me it was well worth it to try it to see if I could get this working and I push reset all settings and it'll go through this I'm doing it again just to show you and uh, basically what it's going to do is it's going to bring up everything uh, the de like it came from the factory de it's going to set your brightness your volume ringers all that stuff is going to be reset the default but it completely fixed my iPhone 4. This is not even a 4S, it's a 4. And I've looked already and seen lots of people having issues with uh, with the problem of the uh, lagging, so uh, with the texting. And uh, so I just wanted to let you know that uh, I reset mine and uh, it actually is working perfect now. And it, I mean, it, it lags a little bit compared to probably the new iPhone 5S. Uh, gold I'm sure uh, my old iPhone 4 lags a little bit but it's a 32 gig hey it works for me I'm so comfortable with it I use my iPad 90% of the time if I'm not using uh, you know if I'm not calling someone so you know I have no problem with my iPhone 4 uh, I'll probably be upgrading now to the new iPhone 5s eventually pretty soon because uh, it's a pretty big jump but um, this thing's got lots of storage and it's just been a great phone so uh, but you can see like how long it takes to get this done but as soon as this loads back up your texting should be working perfect so I hope this video helped you out if it did please subscribe I'm a photographer I'm gonna be doing some photography videos shortly uh, instruction instruction videos for photography I have a Facebook group on Facebook called Askville it's for, for, be, for beginner photographers to intermediate to seasoned pros. The great thing about my group on Facebook, though, is a lot of the photographers on my group are old seasoned pros. So if you're a newbie and you have newbie questions and you're looking for, like, uh, guys that have been doing this stuff for years, there's always somebody in that group 
who is more than capable of answering your newbie questions. So you're going to get good, solid information from guys that have been in the business for years and are at the top of their game right now working as photographers. So anyway, again, I hope this video helped you out. Um, so if I can get my iPhone to come back on here. There it is. And we slide unlock. And you can see like the wallpaper, I had a different wallpaper and all of that stuff got reset. Um, let's see, we'll go back into the texting. And I'm just gonna write him testing text for video and set. And there it goes. So it's working now, but like literally like I would press a button and like nothing would happen before. And I'm sure a lot of you are having that problem and a lot of you are frustrated with it. And this is going to fix it. So good luck. Subscribe to my channel. I'll try to get some more videos out there for you guys.